Travis Wayne Goodsell, in my ponderings about the LDS Church, which is a dangerous thing for the LDS Church. They don't like it when I ponder about them. I was uh, trying to remember when James J. Homula was excommunicated. And I was thinking, was it in 2018? Or when was it? And so I did a little research, thanks to Google search. It was uh, 2017, August 8th. Now, this, if you've been watching my latest video talking about Oaks and, uh, and Monson and Monson's premature death with his signatures over documents, uh, you'll see where I'm going with this. Because if you don't watch those videos, and you don't know anything about that subject matter, you're going to be lost and not be able to make the same connections that I'm making here. <coughs> Here's some other information. They go over his church service under career. And so, uh, let's see, uh, looks like second paragraph. From 1994 to 1997, Pamula was president of the church's Washington, D.C. South Mission. From 2000, so there's a three-year gap, to 2008, Pamula was an Area 70 in the church's North America Southwest area. He became member of the First Quorum of the Seventy during April 2008 General Conference. What was important about that conference? It was a solemn assembly conference. For who? Monson! Why? Well, because Hinckley died because of the lunar eclipse that occurred after his death. You'll have to refer to my patterns of signs in the heaven lunar eclipses with the deaths of prophets of the LDS Church <coughs> to understand that backstory. And then from 2011 to 2014, so a uh, three year gap. Uh, he served as president of the church's Pacific area head area headquartered in Auckland, New Zealand. And they're saying a citation is needed. Why? And so, on 8 August 2017, uh-oh, there's three years missing. What was he within those three years? Because that's when he was excommunicated. We'll get back to the specifics of the excommunication in just a bit. So I did a Google search because I knew he was a church historian. James J. Hamula, church historian. Had to go down to heraldextra.com. LDS leader James J. Hamula excommunicated. Uh, upon his return to church headquarters, Hamula served as assistant executive director of the church history department. Wow. From 2014 to 2016. Oh. So, yeah, in that final year, he was in another position. Uh, and, uh, and so... Who is he? What did he do for a living? Well, he's a prosecutor. Federal prosecutor in cases. Uh, or was it? Uh, yeah, Superfund, which has to do with the Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, it's 
Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation, and Liability Act of 1980, CERCLA established the Federal Superfund Program administered by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and investigates and blah, blah, blah. And so he's got a legal background. Even though it's from BYU, he still has a law degree and was able to practice law, did so with federal government. And Monson is the one who made him a first 70, which became General 70. And so he was involved in the history of the church. 2014, 2016, only two years as executive director. <clears throat> and so he knows all about the lies of the church history. involved in helping to cover it up. This is important to understand. And so, despite uh, Tad Walsh, back in 2017, as being a member of the 70 presidency back then, uh, he says that uh, he was involved in church disciplinary action. The family, however, you know, his brother, came right out and said it was not for any kind of sin or immorality or because there were rumors that maybe it involved some sexual harassment thing. Family says no. And there was no lawsuit. And so, uh, what was it? Well, the church is keeping it silent. But pay attention to what they say it is not. That they are vocal and made sure that everyone knew that it is not. I think thou dost protesteth too much. It was not the result of personal apostasy or disillusionment. See, George P. Lee, the last member of the 70 to be excommunicated in 1989, was excommunicated because he said that the native indigenous people of America needed to blossom as a rose and the church should do more to take care of them. How dare he? <laughs> Get out of here! <clears throat> and then uh, I'm suspicious that there was a setup about his. I think it was porn or infidelity. One of the five. <laughs> I'm very suspicious about that. Because wouldn't it? help Mormons secure their faith after the loss of a member of the 70 with the member of the 70 losing his testimony, losing the spirit, and falling into sin. Too convenient. Don't buy it. And so, uh, I am kind of surprised uh, with Hamula that the church didn't pull that stunt on him either. Governor Herbert pulled it on the Salt Lake Airport director. Yeah, remember him? Oh, you forgot about him? Yeah, everybody did. He's gone. He disappeared. Yeah. Herbert said, open up the airport. He said, no, we got a pandemic. I don't want people to lose their lives. Herbert then got through Microsoft to plant some child porn on his home computer. 50,000 images all at once. How did that happen? And bada book, bada boom. Arrested. Never heard from again. Not even in due process that is required. Because you always hear about this. 
you know, the due process stages of people who get locked up. Nope, not him. He's gone. He disappeared. There was no bail hearing. No hearing where he would declare innocent or guilty. Nope, just gone. And so, yeah, I'm not believing that story either, as Herbert then got to have his airport opened. And while we all know the results of that, don't we? And so, yeah. Now here's the tying it all together into a nice pretty bow package with a bow. <clears throat> August 8th, 2017, Monson is on his deathbed. It was in May where he was no longer able uh, to uh, stay longer than 10 a.m. in the morning would go home every day at 10. By August, he was bedridden. He wasn't going into work anymore. And yet, despite the deathbed with the diabetes and dementia, The church was doing signatures of Monson to get business stuff done. I did the video the other day. <clears throat> it's a crime. And what we have learned is that the church was involved with the creation of LLC corporations. working with Senator Orrin Hatch to work with Trump to get the tax bill to include the provisions for the church to create those specific LLC corporations. While Monson is on his deathbed un unable to sign documents. And here we have James J. Hamula getting excommunicated right at the beginning of this time period. It was Monson who made him a general authority in the General 70, which would later be called. And now Monson is on his deathbed. And the other prophets are working behind Monson's back to keep the church going for this Russian money that is going to be laundered through these LLC corporations exposed by Fox 13 News Utah's Max Roth in May after the conference where it was announced that the church is dealing with Russia, our enemy whose sole purpose is to destroy America. And Hamula's prosecuting attorney works with the federal government and was involved in church history. He knows the church is a fraud. He knows what the church is keeping secret and constantly lying about. So, yeah. Very interesting. That it is not for any kind of sin, and it's not for apostasy. And so, yeah. It was because he was pressured to do something on behalf of the other prophets See, Monson's not able to preside over his excommunication. 
Bonson's not able to excommunicate him. These other prophets wanted him to do something for them, and he refused. That is the only conclusion. If it's not for sin, if it's not for apostasy, the timing that we now know in retrospect says that the prophets were running the church behind Monson's back and came to James J. Hamula to ask for a favor, though, and he said no. So they had to have a little talk, after which he was no longer a member of the church. And they silenced him, non-disclosure agreement, and they promised not to destroy his life, like they did to George P. Lee, airport director three years later so I thought that was very interesting it has something to do with the LLC corporations most likely so alrighty I think I've got the clips for Hamula and I definitely have the one for the Fox 13 News thing so I'll try to remember to throw those in. How long has this been? Oh, it's only 17 minutes.